We start out with water that has been aerated to, to eliminate a chlorine and fluoride, or we can use pond water, we can use rain water, or we can use well water that comes off of a private well that is not treated. So that's key. The temperature of the water is best if it's around 70 degrees, because it's not such a big shock to the biology. We probably don't have that today because it's been a little cooler at night. Probably it's about 60 or 65 degree water, it's not terrible. But you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to bring in really, really cold water and mix. If it was that way, we'd start this, we'd run, we'd aerate it, we'd let it sit in here overnight, it would be around 70 degrees and we'd be good to go. Once that's done then, we're going to start by developing the mix. The first thing we'll do is we're going to put this compost in here in this bag. a little bit of a hole down in here because you've got to stick this device which has which is going to pump air part of the reason we're doing this and part of the reason this machine is built this way is because you want to be able to get the biology out of that compost into the mix and so what this does at the end of this there's a series of holes and that's going to push air through this bag It's going to push air through this bag to get the biology into the mix. Now what they're going to do is they're going to hang this down in there just a little bit. You got it? Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we're going to turn the air on and turn the switch. Now, the next thing is to apply the trace nutrients. Before you do that, let's just take a look at it. This is like a secret potion. This has very fine nutrients. And this will be the food and also the micronutrients that will finish off our mix. Things like kelp, things like fish emulsion, things like um, yucca extract. That's really all there is to it. Now this will brew for about 24 to 36 hours. What we'll do, usually in a period of about 12 hours, all the biology is out of that bag. So what we have a tendency to do is we'll pull that out of there probably tomorrow morning and then we'll go ahead and clean that up so that's all done we don't have to worry about that we'll bring the Kubota in with a hundred gallon tank we'll fill that up and then Wednesday morning we'll spray when you're doing a large job and you want to do the whole job you can dilute this four to one so if you took 250 gallons and added a thousand gallons of water to it Okay, you would have 1,250 gallons that you could go out and apply, all right? This, and you can do that as you go down. If you have a five gallon bucket, it works the same way. 20 gallons of water, five gallons, you got 25 gallons. We apply full strength because this is not like synthetic fertilizers that can, you can burn the lawn. You can't burn with this. So we want to get as much biology in the soil as we can.
what they're going to do is, is spread that out, and um, when, we, when we get done with the turf, when we go up along the areas that have uh, plants, flower beds, then we'll take this 100-foot hose, and there is a, um, there's a gun on there, and they can drive right down, and they can spray the tea right onto the flower beds. So that's what we're going to do. This is really a wonderful piece of equipment because you, with two operators, one driving and one operating the unit, you can cover an awful lot of ground uh, in, a, in a short amount of time. We should have all this tea down in an hour.